and welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be using Rightmove to try and spot properties and investment properties that have maybe had a recent price reduction um, and that could show you potential for uh, motivated sellers and potential bargain properties in your local area. Now, there's lots of different portals that you can uh, use to find your properties. Right moves one of them. Uh, Zoopla is another. That's probably the second one. And there's another one called On the Market, which is um, coming up now and, and starting to be a little bit more popular. But because most people default to using Right Move, it's important to be able to find the best uh, data set to help you to make a decision on which properties might kind of work um, best for you and for your property investments. Now, we've got other videos on how to use Rightmove to find kind of refurbishment properties, how to find maybe motivated sellers in your local town because of different reasons. Specifically in this video, we wanna look at price reductions. Now, when you compare Rightmove to Zoopla, uh, Zoopla has other filters within it that allow you to see what properties have had price reductions. Rightmove doesn't currently, it doesn't allow you to see that data set. So, to give you that extra information, there's additional um, services, things called plugins and add-ons that you can add to the browser that you're using to search Rightmove to find that additional information. So for instance, one of them is called Property B and that's where people, if they may be using the Firefox browser, they can download and add Property B to it and it gives them a lot of extra information when they're checking the search descriptions. Another one that I want to show you today is called, um, well, it's suitable for the Google Chrome browser and it's called uh, the Property Kind of Tracker add-on. So I'll just show you exactly how to kind of find it and do this um, search here. So it's very simple. Um, it's very easy to add and it just helps really giving you that extra kind of information when you're doing your normal kind of searches. So type in Google Chrome Property Tracker add-on. It should be the top of the search. If it's not, scroll down through to find it but this is what we're looking for here really simply click add to chrome okay add and it's as um, simple and easy as that so you can see it's added to this top section here and then if we go back to right move just click refresh and then do your normal search so for example we cover manchester as one of our areas so we click for sale um, and you can change the different types of properties, houses, flats, price ranges, all of those things that you might want to particularly look for in your area. So if we said, okay, Manchester's our target town, and we look for 50,000 plus properties, find properties. Now we can, as I said, change the filter set, but I just want to show you quickly um, how easy this is to use. And it's also very um, slick. It's non-intrusive. It's uh, kind of... It's just to the side of the rest of the information you kind of uh, have so it doesn't kind of block anything you're looking at which is good now firstly if we click on the button up top here it'll tell you a little bit about how it works a little bit about the icons that we're going to spot in a second and also how you can kind of help spread the word if it were with this property tracker kind of add-on now property b as i mentioned earlier and also this kind of property tracker add-on they all work on the same principle that they pull data from the users so if you're searching on right move on one day in a particular area and it brings up certain listings like these particular ones here then the next time that listing is shown it stores that information and it knows what to show to the next user so it only works by more people kind of utilizing um, the service as much as possible It'll give you data set for kind of new areas and also for you using the service regularly so if you kind of looking at the same listings and it saved it from an original search and it shows you again in a week's time month's time it will have that original data so it helps more people use it the more information you can kind of get and where it gives you this information is just in these little arrow icons next to the original listing so as you cover over it will tell you the price change history and it's as simple as that really so as you scroll down you can see the different ones so stay in static or the price kind of history dates price ranges so the dates are when it's kind of first picked up the listing and then it kind of changes really so it doesn't need to affect too much the search that you do like there are arguments to say okay we'll just look at price reduction type properties and there's ways that you can use that as a particular kind of strategy to find potentially bargain properties or discount properties or potential investment properties in your area but for this i just wanted to show you very quickly how to use this kind of google chrome property tracker add-on and how it hopefully can help your searches become a little bit more efficient give you that little bit extra information when you're doing your search 
to make a decision on if that property kind of works or not. Um, and if you go into the listing as well, it'll show you the icon again. So you can check that not just in the main search, but in the property listing. And uh, now there are limitations to this. Obviously, Rightmove will change its servers and details all the time. So there will be occasions where the developer will have to improve and update and, and add to that kind of plugin um, and add on uh, well, this sort of tracker that we're using here. Um, so it's just a case of every now and again, it might not work or it might need updating. So just be patient with it and also the likes of the property B ones as well. But essentially they will give you a lot more information than what you would have if you were searching without it. So it's something that we use, something I'd recommend, and it just helps you with your property searches. So good luck, hope that helps. Um, any questions um, property related with your investment properties, areas, anything like that, feel free to drop me uh, an email um, or have a look at our website, propertyinvestmentsuk.co.uk and we've got lots of different services that we do there from property training through to mentoring and consulting so as I said before any questions please feel free to give us a shout and hope that helped all the best